Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Rich Burnham and I am president of the Nosara Security Association. And I'd like to give you an update for October of 2019. I apologize in advance for any technical difficulties. I'm doing my best, but there's a good chance we might hit some bumps along the way. But let's get rolling and I'll give it a try. First things first, we're gonna go over the Security Association's purpose and goals. We're gonna go over what the current crime situation in Osara is, at least from the NSA's perspective. We're gonna talk quickly about what accomplishments the NSA has produced in recent years, if any. We'll talk about future goals for the Security Association and a message from the retiring leadership, and that will be the main thesis statement of today's message. We're going to talk about a new Security Association board, which will be elected at the next community meeting. And we specifically are looking for property managers and booking agents and anyone who's working in the rental or vacation rental industry. Uh, we're asking them to get involved. And the meeting's gonna be 9.30, December 3rd, 2019 at Marlin Bills. First things first, prevention is the key. We cannot solve the crimes. We'll talk a little bit more about that. We're not gonna be detectives. We're not gonna change the laws, et cetera, et cetera. But we can prevent the majority of the crimes that we experience in our area. But I'll begin with our mission, support the local police and prevent delinquency and crime in Osara, offer security tips and services to our visitors and residents, and keep everyone updated on security issues. That's what we're attempting to do through this video, and I appreciate you checking it out. First things first, we will always have a crime problem. It's not going anywhere. We can alleviate a lot of the crime, uh, but we're always going to have a crime problem. Whenever you have tourists coming down with essentially Mac stores and cash staying in high-end homes, and people who make very little money right beside people who have all kinds of money, you're gonna have crime. More bad news, we're not gonna change the laws nor the legal system, that's not gonna happen. I get a lot of messages sent to me asking about this, that, or the other pertaining to, we'll just change this or do that, or once you catch people do this, please stop, we're not gonna be able to change those. In fact, the laws are pretty much stacked against us. Um, so we need to be diligent in maintaining our expectations. And prevention is what we do have control over, so that is our focus. We do prefer a police presence. We understand the police are not a full solution. Sometimes people will say the police aren't any good, they're no, get rid of them, let's just not have them at all, let's be here by ourselves. That's a horrible idea. We need the police. The reality is, if people don't file the reports after they get robbed, we don't get the funding to improve the police. Lately, you might have noticed we have a lot more trucks, we have a lot more bikes, the police are a lot more active in the community. Well, that's because we started filing the reports. It took many years to get people to file the reports because most people said it didn't make a difference. I'm telling you right now, it does make a difference. So for everyone who's telling people don't file the reports, please stop saying that. We need people who get robbed to file the reports. It really is how we get funding. Vigilante justice is not a long-term viable solution. For many years, whenever we've been in a crime wave, uh, many of us have taken to the streets, and I'm going back in time a little ways. Um, it just doesn't work. It, it's not a viable solution. The thieves just wait for people to settle down, then they go start stealing again. And again, on social media, there's a lot of banter where people get in there and say, let's get together the secret committee. Please stop typing that on social media. The thieves see what you type on social media. And also, it's not a secret anymore at that point. It just, it just doesn't work. Um, I'm gonna go over what does work, and this is the good news. We 100% do know what works, and it's time for the community and the rental companies to act on this knowledge, and we're gonna talk about that today. So what's the current crime situation in Nosara? Well, crime in most of the main tourist areas is significantly down, so that's fantastic news. Now, you might not know that if you just look at Facebook or read some of the gossip pages, but it's 100% true. Ask anyone in the business or anyone who actually knows what's going on, Crime is significantly down. And the reason for that is because private security initiatives are starting to be implemented. Private security is truly the only thing that works uh, almost 100% of the time, and we'll talk about that more and how to get that going throughout the community on a broader level uh, throughout this message today. Um, on a very sour note, people ask, what about physical altercations and attacks? We do have those sometimes. We're extremely fortunate that we have very few. I'd say less than five per year normally only two or three, but we do need to address it. Uh, it's very important. The normal physical altercation that we have is a female walking down one of the many paths in our area. Again, 
Uh, Pleistocene Osar in particular is extremely beautiful, wonderful paths connecting the sections, and, and they're fantastic. However, if and whenever possible, we'd ask females not to walk alone because, again, almost, I'm making up a number here, but 90% plus of our physical altercations are males uh, going after females. So if you're going to walk down the path, consider some protection. Please don't put on earphones with the music up loud. And if you are in the unfortunate situation where someone does approach you, please make a great deal of noise, fight back. Um, there's people very nearby in most cases, and majority of the time, we're fortunate to say that the assailant has taken off when the female has fought back. So please raise a huge ruckus. Um, another thing, I wanna thank the builders who are doing a good job talking to the crews for not catcalling uh, females in particular. We don't want our guests and, and residents and people walking down the street walking by one of the many, one of the many, many construction sites, uh, getting whistled at or yelled at, that's just not good. Um, in most every case, the builders have been responsive in controlling the crews, and I just wanna thank them for that. Um, please keep an eye on it, and again, thanks to the many builders who are doing a good job in addressing that situation. So let's talk about what the main challenges we are facing. The main challenge that we're facing is communication amongst ourselves. And what I mean by that is like, for example, I'll throw the security association under the bus. The security association normally is comprised of well-intended volunteers who do not work in the rental business. And they really aren't in the know. They don't know who to talk to. They just get tired of crime, so they want to volunteer. We want to change that. And that's something we're going to talk about today. We need people on the security association who work as in property management, are as booking agents, are in some realm of, of these activities there you're the ones who talk to the renters you're the ones who talk to the homeowners and we're going to hit that really hard today um other main challenges that we're facing again the laws are stacked against us that's why we have to work on prevention so let's keep on going through the presentation so first off what is a security association accomplished i'm really proud of this one through donations thank you big shout out to everyone who's donated uh, our thanksgiving concerts and supporting the sar events we finally have some funds to work with towards the camera systems we've been budgeting for several years far, in addition to extra private security during peak times. Again, many thanks to everyone who's been working on this. I want to add a quick note. The Sabor de Nosara might be moving away from security and directly over to the Bomberos. The reason for this is because the Bomberos do by far and away the majority of the work, and it's only fair. Um, we have about $15,000 or so in our account um, at the moment. Agnes at the meeting will give an actual update on as to exactly where we're at. But supporting Osara probably should move over to the Bomberos unless the new board members and the new security association that's gonna be elected on December 3rd wants to really step up their efforts in that arena. Now the security association did fund the new police stations, jail cells. For those people who don't know, we do have a new jail. Um, and a new police station. Uh, it's in Nosara town, and we're really happy about that. The old facility in Guiones was way too small, and the police and the service people were living in very challenging conditions. So we're happy about that, and we're happy that we had the money to contribute. Private security, and again, this will be a big theme today, is finally being utilized in a progressive manner. It took a while, but we're getting there. Just like it took a while to get the reports to be filed, it took a while to get private security going but that is the one thing we know that completely works. Uh, police relations have significantly improved in recent years. This should be continued by the new leaders. I encourage them to please bring food, go say hello, go talk to people even if your Spanish isn't perfect. Um, a kind gesture goes a long, long way. And being a police person in Costa Rica is a very challenging job. It's not socially popular, and you can learn more about that a little bit later. Uh, moving forward, Camera systems and strategic locations have been implemented and we're real happy about that. There's more that's needed and there's more on the way, but our initial main location objectives have been accomplished. And what I mean by that is, take a look at the black arrows. The Palata camera, we wanna thank Hard Security for their support on that. They worked really hard to get that up and that is over by Il Pepperoni. We're real happy to have one there. Uh, in the middle, you see an arrow pointing towards Cafe Paris and Coconut Harry's. We have a really cool camera that points many different directions over there. We want to thank Audio Masters for their support and getting on board with us. Uh, and over at Baker's Beach, which is kind of a sore 
sore spot for us on the Security Association. We have a lot of issues at Baker's Beach with car theft in particular. Um, Kennel Security is getting on top of things over there and we're happy to have a camera in that location. Please don't bring valuables to the beach. Don't bring bags with cameras and wallets. It's, it's gonna get up and walk away. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of common sense that goes into avoid getting robbed in our area. And sometimes the thieves are just amazing thieves with great tools and, and knowledge and know-how. But if common sense can avoid you having an issue, you wanna do that. And bringing valuables to the beach is a horrible idea, so please don't do that. Um, here comes a message from those of us who are stepping away like myself. I'm retiring from the Security Association. I've been doing this a long time. I'm very tired. Um, Agnes Pinheiro is retiring, and I want to give her a massive shout out. She's been the backbone of this. She's the one who, majority of the time, runs the WhatsApp groups. She's the one who handles all the money, uh, lots of late nights, early mornings. And I can't even tell you how many hours, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of hours, have been put in behind the scenes that no one even knows about. Uh, and here's basically what those of us who are stepping down have to say. First thing, private security is the solution and the community needs to get fully on board. There's no debate any longer. The results speak for themselves. The neighborhoods and the streets that have united and stuck with private security have ha achieved success. Uh, Las Wacas, take a look at that. A lot of people think that just happened instantly. It didn't, it took years, it took a while. They had social get togethers and they had to prime the pump per se to get people on board uh, to make that work. They even took it a step further. Now they have security and a road system going. Uh, North Guiones has a road initiative starting. It'd be really nice if we could get security going behind that too. Uh, not just GNH, which is North Guiones, but also INJ and K and ANC and the Pueblo and Esperanza and Delicious. Uh, go down the list. There's no reason we can't unify and help spread and get the criminals to go somewhere else. Again, we're not going to stop crime in Costa Rica, but we can make it more difficult to steal around the Nosara area, that's for sure. And private security is the way to do it. The Security Association Board should be comprised of property managers and booking agents. I am adamant about this, and this is a direct call out to everyone who works in the rental business. It is your ethical obligation, in my opinion, to get involved in security in some manner. Um, the goal should be facilitating communication between homeowners and getting private security initiatives implemented and being very clear with renters about what our security challenges are. Homeowners should include private security in their rates whenever possible. And if a home does not include private security, the renters should be advised of this. Please, homeowners, book it into your rates. If nothing else, include the dinner time, as we call it, the thieving hour. The vast majority of our crime happens while people are out at dinner. It's very easy to steal from tourists. One thief can go follow them and, and text a message to whoever and let them know to go in and hit the house while they're gone. In addition, tourists leave their guard down a great deal. A lot of the time, they're having a great week. They have a wonderful time. The doors are open. The windows are open. And I'm not saying that happens all the time. There's plenty of times where tourists get robbed and they do everything right. But more often than not, uh, the crime could have been avoided. And if we at check-in tell people, look them dead in the eye, say, hey, listen, we have a crime problem here. This home does not have security. I advise you get it and I can line it up for you. And if nothing else, the days you go out to dinner, please get private security. If you emphasize it strong enough, at least the tourists or the renters will know the truth. And, and we should just be saying that and they'll respect that and they'll appreciate it. We'll have a lot less incidences. The NOSARA Security Association Board filled with property managers uh, and booking agents for that matter, allows communication amongst homeowners and renters that NOSAR needs. United property managers are necessary for each area to bring private security costs down for homeowners as a whole and provide a higher quality experience for renters when uniting streets and neighborhoods. In the past, this was extremely difficult. The reason being is NOSAR is an extremely competitive town. If you're a property manager, first off, that's a very difficult job. One of the most challenging jobs, if not the most challenging job in the community. The last thing you want is other people exposed uh, to your competition and a chance that you might lose those homes. However, it's 2019 right now. We're moving into 2020. We've got to step it up a little bit. We got to pull down the walls. To get a street linked up with private security, the neighbors are going to have to talk a little bit. And we know this because this is how Las Wacas did it. We also know it because streets in the K section did it. We also know it from Gilly's Beach Club. And I can go on. Every location that is unified has achieved a significant success 
and is getting robbed far less than they were before. So if we can get a security association filled with people from the rental business, we can unify and we can get these streets to unify with security for the whole street. And that will pull down costs for everyone as opposed to just getting the one guy who pays for it and the other guy who's cheap, too cheap to do it. And for that matter, the homeowners who aren't willing to pay for it, we need to start calling them out. We need to get private security going. That's how we're going to link up the town. And I'll keep going on that. Uh, but first, ca camera systems, alarms, bars, help. they are all helpful, yet they're secondary to private security. The ideal solution is private security in each section with camera systems and strategic locations. The foundation for this has already started, and the incoming security association leaders should continue these efforts. And what I mean by that, actually, I'll just take it to what, this is my dream. I wasn't able to uh, help it, this it happen during my tenure um, as president, uh, and, and I regret that. This is what I wanted to have happen, and I wasn't able to, but hopefully the next set of leadership can get there. The ultimate goal should be private security in each section. This is 100% attainable if property managers unite. However, this will not occur without assistance from the property managers. Two private guards per section will make a huge difference in sending crime elsewhere and lowering overall costs for homeowners. The price of private security is a very, very common complaint and reason why people don't take action. Well, take a look at the map that we have here. See the light blue section over there where you have two stars? That's the K section. Well, if we had a private security guard up at the top, close to Bodie Tree where the bus stop is, another one down at Baker's Beach, all right around there, uh, patrolling, communicating, that can pull down security costs for everyone in the K section. So instead of just individual houses that are doing it, we could have sunset uh, to sunrise private security, and it could be quite affordable. We can do it. See the section where it says already have? We know we can do it because they've done it in Las Vegas and it's working incredibly well. However, it took a couple of years. It didn't happen right, right away. This is gonna be up to the new security association and hopefully those of you listening get involved. The I and the J sections, the two green sections, just to the left of the K. Again, we can have private security on each end of that. The H and the G section at North Guiones where you see the two blue stars, again, would be fantastic. They can control the two little circles. The C section over in Palata, down from Olga's up to the two entrances in the Palata would be fantastic. Over towards the Boca and up the hill where La Garda Lodge is and down at the lower section close to the, the Boca where the Rio is, we could do the same thing. The L section is actually, we just started experiencing some crime back there recently and I wanna give a shout out to Alex Reyes for helping coordinate the group and uh, getting that rolling back there. Uh, moving forward. We have a community meeting coming up. I'm asking everyone who's in town, please come. The reason why is because there's important elections taking place and we have to replace several positions on the boards with new members. It's December 3rd, 2019, 9.30 a.m. at Marlin Bills. Uh, thank you, Bill, for hosting the meeting and thank you to everyone who comes. Normally, we have that meeting in November. This year, we pushed it back to December, hoping that the people who just come down for the season would be able to attend. So if you're able to, please show up. We're gonna have full updates. We're gonna have the election and introduction of the new uh, Security Association board members. And we're gonna have a question and answer session which will take place. Uh, myself, Agnes, a couple others, uh, Ask Away, will be there to speak freely. And certain private items that will be addressed that are not suitable for the internet. Uh, again, so please attend if you possibly can. We'll be brutally honest and we will go through it. Um, homeowners. Please ask your rental company to get involved. It does make a huge difference. Uh, and we'll just put it this way. The Security Association is inviting all property management companies and booking agents to take a spot on the Security Association board on December 3rd. The above companies have already volunteered. This is not the Security Association of years past. We're moving into 2020 and communication is key to preventing crime in Nosara. Please be a part of the solution again. Those of you who might have come to security meetings in the past and they were unproductive, nothing happened, it's a new day. It's a new age. We have new technology. A lot of stuff's going on. Uh, for those of you still listening, we have very affordable camera systems that are available that you can bring down, uh, like the Ring systems and others. I'm not necessarily endorsing that brand. I'm just saying you can get a camera system for very, very uh, affordable that you can put in the windows where a doorbell would go and it takes pictures of people who approach the home. 
we've had more pictures sent to us from thieves in the past six to 12 months, probably than we've ever had. And it's a phenomenal thing that helps the police actually catch people. And if they can't catch them, that at least puts them on a watch list and it gets them out of, gets them out of the area sometimes. And again, nothing I'm saying is foolproof. The closest thing to foolproof that we do have is private security. So please get involved with that. Now, if you live here full time and you can have a trained dog, that's phenomenal. But again, this message that I'm giving right now, this isn't necessarily for your full-time residents who can have a trained dog. This is for those of you who are visiting Nosara or have a home in Nosara, or specifically to those of you who work in the rental business. Again, please get involved. A United Security Association will be how we link up all these sections and make Nosara incredibly difficult to steal from. Let's send this thief somewhere else. And if you're in town, please come on December 3rd. Thanks to everyone who's donated in the past. Thanks to everyone who's supported in the past and not given up. And again, big shout out to everyone who served uh, on the board and been out there setting up tents and events for those of us who are just trying to raise money for this. It's not fun. And I know security is not fun to talk about. And I appreciate everyone who's been a part of it. Thanks so much. Uh, we've tried our best. And those of us who are on our way out, uh, just know we tried. And we're rooting for the new people who are coming in. Thanks.